Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And if you ask someone from Northern Thailand what is their comfort food, it's quite likely that they would say Kanom Jin Nam Niao. It's an amazing dish. I mean, anyway, we'll, we'll talk more about that later. But today is a very special day. We are driving out to Three Trees Doi Saket, which is, it's about an hour away. Um, and we're gonna meet my friend Hanuman. Hanuman is a great friend of mine. We go way back and he's one of the most knowledge, he is the most knowledgeable person about Thai food that I know. He's a master of Thai food and he runs a professional cooking class and so today we're gonna have an honor to go to his place uh, we're gonna see the cooking we're gonna eat it's just gonna be a lot of fun and I'm gonna share it all with you in this video right now Getting close, but the mountains are just incredibly beautiful. The greenery, the misty peaks. Turn right. And just to quickly tell you about Hanuman. Hanuman is a great friend of mine. We've been friends for many years, and formerly he was based in Bangkok. Uh, but I had been following his entire journey. He bought this plot of land in Chiang Mai, in Doi Saket. And it was originally like a swampy area that he fully developed. He had the full vision. And so I had been following along the progress, him posting photos. He built a house, um, and that is now Three Trees Doi Saket. So this is exciting for me because I'm finally going to have a chance to visit Hanuman here in Chiang Mai and we'll have a chance to uh, cook and eat and yeah, it's just going to be so much fun. It's so beautiful. Oh, yes, dude, check that out. Oh wait, tree. Oh yes, Hanuman, chili bush. Right, right there. Can you pick a chili right out of the window, Ying? <laughs> ah, did he eat? Okay. That's my first bite at Three Trees of Dice I get. Uh, Don't tell Hanuman. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mm, it has this beautiful sourness to it. Oh. I can smell it. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah, that's spicy. Oh. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How good are you? Good to see you. Very good to see you. Good, Was how are you? Good, good drive? Beautiful. Beautiful drive. Everyone say hello to Hanuman. Hello, Sadikhab, Hanuman. And we've just arrived to Three Trees Doi yes. Saket. It's an honor to be here. On the way driving here, I was mentioning how you had told me the whole story of this place and yeah, how you it was a long, it's transformed a long, yeah. the entire property. And so it's it's so great to actually be here in person now. Yeah, you're welcome. Come. come Thank you very much. Me. This is the... Oh man, this house is beautiful. So the house is basically stretched out. Wow. So this is the kitchen, this is the dining room. Here we have an office and uh, a small living room. The living quarters over there. Oh, okay. So those, those, are the, the those are your rooms. Yeah, the, okay. The, so we have a naturally underground stream. Mm. So we're just getting first a tour. Oh, be careful, Micah. Be careful, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Down, down. We're just getting a quick tour walking around the house and the, the compound, but it's laid out so incredibly beautiful. Thai style yet with a modern touch. Yeah. There's the kitchen and there's the dining room at the front here. And then uh, the next room, all walking on this beautiful wooden deck. These are the rooms here. So this is, this is our on-site sewer treatment system. Ah. Fully like a commercial kitchen, even better. Yeah, that's a commercial, that's a commercial kitchen. But um, uh, we have we have put the all the dry spices are here, fresh ingredients here. This that's is where, where the magic happens, and then <laughs> we're to do to do kanom chi nam niao today. Today, yeah. awesome. But I know it's going to be like the next level. Yeah, kanom chi nam niao. I hope so. I hope <laughs> For so. sure. Guaranteed. Anything that I've ever eaten with Hanuman or that Hanuman has cooked is it's just it, will, it blows your mind. Just the next level, the care, the the research and the like zero shortcuts process that he takes in all of his cooking. The dish that we're going to be focusing on that we're going to be making today is called Kanam Ji Nam Niao. And and Nam Niao means uh, Shan people. Or Shan people's style, ah. so it's uh, it's basically means uh, kanom chin or um, fresh ri uh, fresh rice noodles with Shan style broth. Dong niu, this is the cotton. The cotton we are going to use it. 
what I do, I use to now, I use pala. Oh, and to now, to now is from soybeans. So okay. I use tau chio, and I use kapi, and I use soy sauce. So you get all these levels of five umami wow. going together. Yeah, that's, those are all like fermented ingredients that just ingredients. build in complexion with age yeah. um, and flavor. Let's do Karen chilies, good color, nice aroma. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a red curry paste and then we use an under paste. So the under paste we use fresh chili just to improve the color. Galangal for, for, um, for northern tribes, you either use mature galangal or in season use young galangal. You're making this purely on experience. You know, yeah, all the just, amounts. You, see, you even know you like that <laughs> comment that he made about half the amount of galangal as chili. Um, you don't measure. A quarter. You don't but measure. you don't measure. You don't measure. Um, in cooking, ratios are more important than quantities. Hmm. So when you do, when you cook, you have to think ratios rather than absolute quantities. Mm. So if somebody get, say to you, okay, take oh. this, start to do Nam Niao, you know how it throws the domino by ratios. Ah. Yeah. And it was... And that's Bala. That's Bala. Wow, cool. So that is fermented fish. That's fermented fish. And what we do, we take the fermented fish and we put it on a bed, on a bed of lemongrass and kachai. Now what I do, I do, I do many layers. So then I can, I can basically put it on low heat and then I generate smoke. When that's finished smoking, it's just gonna be like flavor upon flavor upon flavor. Fermented soybeans? Yeah, fermented soybeans. Made into a little. So again, when you have smoke, it goes good with the umami. Let's do a, three, a third smoke. <laughs> so we take, we take the chilies and we need to rate rate it. Okay, just would be loud. <laughs> That's okay. As soon as it just started to blacken, just like a second, he tossed in water because uh, we don't want to. We don't want to blacken the chilies. We don't want the black chilies. We wanna. We wanna keep the red. The chilies red, but that's just gonna increase the the smoky flavor. If we are doing smoke, so let's burn the house in one day. Okay. Oh. We'll have smoke and fire. <laughs> Coming right out of the pan, those have just like blistered up. Oh, they're so fragrant. So I put tomatoes, big tomatoes, and char tomatoes. So you get three layers, and you have one smoke, two smoke, three, three smoke, smoke, four smoke, four smoke. <laughs> so it's all about layering, counting, counting your elements. Next level. Cut the nail. In the meantime, he's preparing some of the ingredients for the broth, uh, including chicken feet and pork bones. Now, deseeding, you don't have to deseed it first. Uh, you basically just take it and cut it into large chunks. Uh -huh. The pan is well balanced. How is your pounding skills? Uh, it could be better for the curry minutes. taste. 54, 54 minutes? 54 minutes. 54 minutes later, we will have a smooth paste with all of these ingredients that we've been preparing all mingled together. Oh yes, to a now. So I put it to a now, now. So it will be dry. So it will be dry when I put the shallots. In goes that fermented soybean wafer and then also the shallots next. Beef. And pala. And that is the little pile of fermented fish that he smoked out in the banana leaf packet. What's 
so incredible to hang out with Hanuman as he cooks is the the history, the the culture and just the wisdom that he brings with Thai food and knowledge. In order to get signals, you should have come. Taste MSG. Come. Huh. Taste never, it. I've never done this before. Taste it. I usually order without MSG. There is nothing wrong with that. Hmm. That's umami. Pure MSG. It's, it's not, it's oh not yeah, it tastes like seaweed. Yeah. Or what okay. I think of this. So you didn't get a mm. big sensation. It's something in your mouth, right? Mm -hmm. Now let's unlock it. Take a cucumber and now taste it. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's like seaweedy. Um, so now, now with a cucumber? Take, yeah, take with a cucumber. You can do it with a cucumber. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's still open, by the way. Yeah, okay. so it does change the, the, only, yeah. here, you know. so the, the like, only, composition the of it only, almost. The only free umami flavor in nature is in tomato. Toma tomato has both nucleotides Nucleotide. and glutamates hmm. ah. in one, in one, in one. That's three. cool. We we put much uh, um, attention to layering our umami in the kapi, in the tuanao, mm. in pala. So this is also an umami factor. So you use big, you use green, you use mid, you use red, you use all the colors. So you get, you get layering of the same element. And then you use them smoked as well. Dong Niu. Dong Niu is the cotton tree. So I like to take a batch and deep fry it to be crispy so we can eat it. Like we deep fry chilies and then we have to do chili oil as well. Hanuman is gonna do some of his own uh, fried crispy ingredients. This is a homemade khao soy masala. 25 <laughs> ingredients. When I cook, I think about uh, the three-dimensional uh, flavor profile, where I have smoke, fat, umami, and then wrap it with dry spices, slice it with sours and uh, sweets, and elevate it with herbs. Some people think that, you know, once you do a curry paste, you finish cooking. No, you just started. You created a new ingredient. So I create an underpaste, and in the underpaste, I put things I want to show on my top paste. So in my top paste, I use fresh tomatoes. So I use, I don't have any fresh ingredients in my, in my paste. I have dry chilies, I have uh, all, the, all the umami. So I put layers of freshness under it, so I get, I get another layer, if mm. you think about it in mm. three dimensions. So Hanuman is starting on the under paste next. So you see, it's not much use pork fat. All the components are prepared. We're ready to start assembling curry. It's a curry, yeah? It because is a curry. It's a, it's a curry, curry paste. It's a water, it's Any, a curry. Anything, anything that has a paste in Thai is a, is a gang. Gang. Maybe mm -hmm. stand on that side. We go down that curry paste in there. Yeah, pork fat. The pork and then fat. Curry paste. The underpaste. Under oh, the underpaste yeah. first. Uh, yeah. Then the the regular paste, and then the minced pork went in. Then he added in the stock with the chicken feet and the pork bones, um, and then dropped in all of the tomatoes, uh, the variety of tomatoes. Oh. We have saltiness from Palakapi to now, and some salt, right? 
So if this is a first evaluation before mm -hmm. adding. <laughs> <laughs> like he did a two-step. <laughs> when you are cooking Thai food, it's it, it's essential. It's mandatory that you taste. Yes. The the tua now you can taste in there nicely. This is chicken? Ah, uh, this is chicken. And then you just tossed in the chicken blood jelly. The curry is ready. It simmered for maybe 20 15, minutes or 15, so. 20 minutes, yeah. yeah, it wasn't that long. Um, the and the dish is ready. Cooked. The meat was cooked, yeah. the paste was pounded, and it was more about assembling it all and then just boiling it together for a little bit. But um, it's to be eaten with kanomjin, which are the soft, and so they're fresh. Uh, rice noodles. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you. That was Thank you. fascinating. And that is mission complete. Even the assembling was beautiful. Combining those parts. I mean, you've got the curry, uh, then you added on those roasted firework tomatoes, fried chilies and cotton flour, some chili oil, uh, some fried garlic, some shallots, some pickled mustard greens, a lime wedge. It's all there, it's all ready. We're ready to eat. Thank you, Hanuman. Thank, Thank you. you so much. My it's, pleasure. It's so beautiful. It's so colorful. You've got all the, I mean, the curry, then the toppings, the, the multiple even layers and levels of toppings that go into this. And not only the food, but also we're just staring into the greenery of the mountains. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So we are all sitting down to, to eat. I'm gonna just like taste a little bit of just, the just, thank you <laughs> yes yeah, a little more chili oil on there and you can see the, the difference between the tomatoes the tomatoes that were cooked within the the curry they've sort of like slightly dissolved and are sort of like mixed into the stew and kind of tomato made it tomato -y, tomato -y, but then you've also got the umami fireworks yeah. wow. tomatoes that were literally lit on fire for a few seconds or for many seconds and you kind of can stir it around get look at that look at the the chunky beautifulness of that it's so thick compared to any other version of nam nyao i've had oh, wow <laughs> mm, the tomatoes when we were sampling it mm. like it was that you could taste the paste you could taste mm. the you could taste stronger the yeah. the tua nao but then the tomatoes sort of now they, now yeah. that as they dissolved more, yeah. you can see how they've mingled into that. Mm -hmm. Sort of toned because down they the have, tuanao, but also they are, they are the same. They are the same group. They are umami. Mm -hmm. So the tuanao, the kapi, the pala, the tauchiao, the soy sauce, they are all umami, and the the the, the, the tomato is also an umami. So she joins the group very easily. <laughs> and then we have the pork. The Chicken feet, the, <laughs> oh, yeah. the blood, yes. they're all umamis, right? Oh, and the, the umami fireworks tomato. Is that too much in one bite? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think we can handle it. And maybe a piece of blood then. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a fully loaded bite. This is the, the chili in there too. Mmm, mmm. Oh, it hits you like after you sink your teeth into the tomato. Smoky, but like like deep fried at the same time, tomato skin, and then it just bursts into tartness and juiciness. 
Did I get some tomato splashage on my chin? That's a uh, successful. Mm. So you can find kanamji mm. namnyo just throughout markets and little local mm. restaurants throughout northern Thailand. And it's a very favorite dish, but most of the versions that I've had are quite watery and they're more, they're, yeah, they're just much more, much more watery. Not, not as nearly as many tomatoes or spices or, or ingredients that go into theirs. But this one is not watery at all, even though it's water based. It's, it's thick and rich and you taste vibrantly the tomatoes as well as all those other fermented ingredients. It's sensational. Yes. Thank you so much, Hanuman. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> Thank awesome. you for inviting us to share such an amazing dish. Like in your, My pleasure. In your dream. My pleasure. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is beautiful. Yeah. And also, the dish, the cooking, the food, which is delicious, but the, the knowledge and the stories <laughs> behind it. That also makes a huge difference. Fun. So well, much. cooking, cooking is, is, about, is about humans. Mm. It's about um, making new friends, it's about politics, it's about mm -hmm. war, it's about trade, it's mm, about yeah. Im immigrations, it's about natural resources, mm -hmm. it's about our health. Mm. There are so many layers that you can scrap through when yeah. you are eating a dish. Mm. So um, we are at least fortunate to have another layer mm. which is friendship that we can, mm -hmm. we can mm. put on mm. top of all of that. So, welcome. Uh, Thank it you. was really my pleasure having you. Thank you so much. Shan, shan, shan people food. Cool. I like it very much. Oh, you taste the dark soy sauce in there too when you, yeah, get, yeah, yeah. When you get that much. That's that's why you get the, the, the mm -hmm. nice glaze. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you wouldn't get the color. Oh. Because the, the black soy sauce has molasses. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. makes it black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you put it into the whole oil, you get some car car caramelization. <laughs> what a day. What a cool well, day, I'm, man. I'm, I'm quite Thank a you. Passive host. You know, it's a, wow. a self service water. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, Hanuman has been taking care of us, is what he means to say. Yeah. Like and fully. Yeah. And he's even with we're the travelers. He's telling us stories and feeding us. And with coffee. And no. At coffee. the end to finish off just a uh, an experience of a meal. Oh cheers. 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 <laughs> mm. Oh, I can smell the cardamom. Turkish coffee with the view. Yeah, yeah things cannot get better than this. And now the light is changing, so it's really like bright green. I'm still processing the entire experience, but I mean, it was. It was more than just a lunch and a meal. It was an entire educational experience. And the food was unbelievably good. But the location, the atmosphere, the friendship, he's so passionate and so knowledgeable about Thai food and even Thai history, which ties in so much into Thai cuisine. And you learn, you know, I mean, just in spending a few hours with him this, this afternoon today, I learned so much about Nam Niao and then so much about Thai history and the process. And even on top of that, also about ingredients and the layers of flavor and taste. It's such a sensory, such a well-rounded experience, all wrapped up into Three Trees Doi Saket in, in a beautiful location. And Hanuman is offering professional cooking courses, uh, total immersion programs, but even single day classes. So you can uh, check out what he has to offer. I'll have all his links in the description box below. But he is, 
He is so knowledgeable. He's a walking encyclopedia of Thai cuisine and history. And again, go follow Hanuman and I'll have all the information in the description box below. I want to say a huge thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon. That way you'll get notified of the next video that I publish. Thank you again for watching. Goodbye from Chiang Mai. See you on the next video.